people ask me you know, a lot of times who was the best athlete I ever coached. And, uh, and I say, well, Bo Jackson was the best, best athlete I ever coached. But Frank Thomas was the second best athlete I ever coached. And, uh, and you know, I might have had it reversed, but Bo was chosen as the athlete of the century, so. Well, you but, know, I, Coach Dye would, would be my reference to this. And, and like I said, he was, in my, in my recollection, he was one of the top two tight ends in the South coming out of high school. So he was highly recruited. And so the football thing was certainly no gimmick. And you're right, we had a lot of two-sport guys here. We had Bo, we had Trey Gaines, we had all these, uh, Duke Donaldson, we had all these guys that played two sports and had for a while. But Frank, the difference again was the other guys were athletes who played baseball, who liked it, who thought, you know, it might be something I do after I leave Auburn if the NFL isn't in my future. That was not Frank. For Frank, Bo, baseball was leverage. And You're well, he, but he signed baseball. Yeah, yeah but he signed baseball first. And so I don't know that I would say that. I think okay. Bo's love for baseball was genuine, but his stature in football was so exalted. If you're the first player picked in the draft in football, it's very difficult to not have people assume that that's your, your path.